hook steak, just be ready. Be ready for the splatter and for the smell. So both exhausts, both exhaust fans are on. Heat towels. Weekend, everyone. Uh, it's Friday night. Hola, na trabajo bukas. The missus is home, and uh, I'm actually going surfing on the weekend. So, pag ganyan, kailangan masarap yung kain ng bus para yes ka agad kahit ano mo. Or a visa approved. Mm -hmm. Pero depende kung magustuhan niya. I'll do my best na masarap siya sa kanyang. Uh, Dinner. So, siempre dapat balance. So, meron tayong blue marlin para light. Meron tayong steak para may. Mm, I like steak. Salad para light again. Green beans. So, basically, it's sort of like a surf and turf. Because, yeah, I am going surfing on the weekend. So, napaalam ako. Okay na. Hopefully. Let's see. What we'll do first is we'll marinate the steak, garlic. I got your steak and barbecue grub. Rosemary, because I love rosemary. Uh, I was just about to say it. I like rosemary on steak. Yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna add some olive oil. Well. When I was working uh, in Australia, that was the station. The uh, magatalaga. It's a Garman J station. I guess it's also like making sauces and marinades. So. You know, but I'm, uh, I guess I'm good with combinations most of the time. When you make a marinade, you want to submerge the meat in the marinade. This is weird, but we are in the Philippines and we love soy sauce. So I am just gonna add a touch, but don't worry, it's not overpowering. Okay, because I don't want to have water with touch. You know why I added it? Because, una for flavor, second for the salt, third for familiarity. When you glue it, always add like an ingredient of familiarity. Not adding any salt yet because I don't want it's it's gonna dry up the steak. So I'm gonna pour it into the meat. You know, if we had time, I would sous vide it. I have a sous vide machine here, really handy. Uh, it's worth the investment, but you know we're pressed for time. The missus is hungry. The minimum to sous vide is an hour. Since we don't have time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in 200 degrees and I'm, I'll pre-cook it in the marinade for 10 minutes. With the fish, we're gonna flavor it with olive oil. This is a spice mix I got in the bottom. It's I actually don't know what it is, but Paprika? That's, that's a lot of things, right? Then there's paprika, there's oregano, there's thyme, there's pepper, there's chili. Where did the paprika stand out? That's what I like about my wife. Huh? This is a, like a good palate. It helps because um, she, she, I mean, she knows what she's tasting and she really says if it's not great. So again, I'm not gonna salt it. So if you can use paprika, thyme, uh, white pepper, black pepper, olive oil. I like the pepper. Pepper. You push it, rub it, glue on both sides. 
when you want to make something for someone very special, uh, kailangan more than two. So, may steak na tayo, may fish na tayo, uh, gagawa tayo ng soup. Oh, let's see. I love soup. I love having soup with all my Great, because I will make you a mushroom soup using the leftover chicken stock that I had. The leftover mushrooms. So this is uh, your mushroom soup. Uh, but we're gonna glorify it by adding fresh kitaki, good chicken, uh, good chicken stock, and this so. I'm gonna add some white wine there. Then I'm gonna reduce it down. Then I'm gonna puree it using the steak blender. I have your pot of water. I'm gonna use that to blanch the green beans. That's a good sound. Good beans. So my, my bite. Also the color should be bright green. But flat na overcooked now. So I'm just gonna saute these mushrooms in butter. The mushroom is maputla. So, I'm gonna add the juice of the shiitake mushroom. Then, I will add more shiitake. That makes your soup so premium. A bit of salt. I do want to add more because I added more shiitake. I like the sweetness it gets from the white wine. I'm gonna cook my steak. So 200 degrees. By this, it slowly absorbs the marinade and at the same time slowly cooking it. So that's what you do when you don't have time to marinate meat. You pop it in the oven and sort of like low temp, roast it in its marinade at a very low temperature. This is on the rare side. So later, yeah. we will just kiss it on the pan okay. and then that's it. So I'll use the oil. We need high because I it at low temperature. So in uh, on the medium rare na yan. So, gusto lang natin yung crust. Move it. Well, best to rest the steak for a good 10-15 minutes. Off the heat. So, the butter just gives the soup a nice shot. Then it makes it a little bit thicker. But always often because you want to cook it slowly. If not, it's going to split. So using the same pan where I cook the mushrooms, I'm gonna sear our fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pomelo sauce. So it's important to rest the steak because if not, um, when you slice it, the juice will come out. So rest the steak after 10 to 15 minutes, that's when you slice. Question. So how, how do you serve it more? Uh, good question. 
Uh, when you eat stay 10 to 15 minutes finish. Yeah. Oh, yes. kailangan wag lang mahanginan, di ba? Mm-hmm. Use this black Hawaiian salt. The salt is nice. Yeah. It's good with the steak. All right, go for it. Enjoy. So I can go to love again, huh? Visa approved. Hmm. And we shall we shall eat as well. <laughs> 